Hello everyone, my name is Jatsi and welcome to my video. I know that these past few months have not been easy for many of us. We have our lives disrupted. Education, work, friends, family. It's not an easy time for anyone at all. But this doesn't mean we should be unhappy every day. The more we worry, the more anxious we feel. That's why I've recently decided to start making some videos to hopefully capture some of the little joys in life. Good food, spending time with friends, coffee, sunny weather, more good food, pancakes, more coffee, you get the idea. Well, let's go. Let me show you what I've been up to in the past few days. Okay guys, let's make some pancakes. Anyone else really loves pancakes? I'm a huge fan of beautiful pancakes. All the cafes are closed now, but we can always make our own. I'll put the recipe on the screen as I go along. Maybe you can try making them too. I'd like to share with everyone why I decided to start making this video. Recently, I've been feeling quite lost. This past year had been confusing to say the least, and it is so easy to get caught up in our own dark thoughts. Each day is a new start, yet I find myself waking up to the same routine, lacking motivation or energy to do anything. But when I took a camera to try and capture the beautiful things around me, I realized that there are so many incredible things to be grateful for. A cake your friend made, a call with your mom, seeing cute dogs in the park. All these tiny things are beautiful and I have decided that I want to capture them. Alright, let's get back to making pancakes. Coat or spray your pan with some oil, then spread your pancake batter out in circles. Once you start seeing bubbles on the upper surface, it's time to flip them. Then transfer them onto a plate, and I guess try to put them out in a pretty way, or as you can see me struggling over here, as pretty as possible. And then, my favorite part, choosing your best toppings. I really like the combination of Greek yogurt and frozen blueberries. This is the final product! I tried to make it look pretty, but anyway, it's time to test it. Another thing I absolutely love is coffee. I have to start my mornings by making myself a fresh cup of coffee. Here, I'm using a Hario V60 dripper. First, you wet the filter paper, then discard the water, and weigh out the desired amount of coffee. I like to use 12.5 grams of coffee for 160 grams of water. Soak the grounds and let the coffee bloom for 30 seconds. Then, gently pour the water in a swirling motion. You want to disrupt the coffee grounds just a tiny bit. I don't have a pouring kettle, but this kettle works absolutely fine. And there you have it. Easy homebrewed fresh coffee to start your mornings the best way possible. On this day, I made myself some banana and peanut butter toast for breakfast. Yes, I used the half banana left over from yesterday's pancakes. All you do is spread some peanut butter, top it up with banana and sprinkle some chia seeds or anything you like. I have more time to prepare nice meals this week because we're having a Christmas holiday. But it's the last week of our break and we will all resume next week. All the medical students will have to get swapped again for COVID before we start seeing patients on the wards. I'll be going back to the hospital as soon as I get my swap done and receive a negative result. I'm not sure how the situation will be in the hospitals, but it seems like there are too many COVID patients and the NHS is utterly overwhelmed. So if you live in the UK, or in fact anywhere else in the world, please follow COVID guidelines and stay at home if possible. Anyway, this is me showing you my banana and peanut butter toast. It was really yummy. So Thursday was a really beautiful sunny day and I went for a walk and cycle with my friend along the river camp. Hi, we've just reached the riverside. We parked our bikes here. Um. <laughs> it's such a nice day today, look! So we'll go for a little walk and I'll catch you soon. Honestly, I did not feel like going out that day, but it was so nice to feel the warmth of the sunshine on my face, chat with my friend under the evening glow, and just get out of the house and breathe in beautiful fresh air. And the day got even better for we had hot pot for dinner. If you have never had your own hot pot at home, you have to try it. We use the pressure cooker to boil the soup, but you can also do it with a rice cooker. Just put in the meats, vegetables, or anything you like, and have a wonderful meal with your friends. We used a Sichuan hot pot base, which was very spicy, which is exactly why I loved it. It's very spicy. In Singapore, Hot pot is traditionally eaten as a family during Chinese New Year. 
but having it here in the UK despite being away from home made me very happy. I'm gonna take out this one. Mm. Just a tip for hot pot. Fried tofu and soft vegetables soak up all the flavor and chili oil from the spicy soup. Oh! <coughs> oh spicy. It was just a lovely time with my housemates and we had a warm meal and watched Korean dramas together. Sweet balls! That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching my first ever YouTube video and joining me at the start of this journey. I hope to document more of these beautiful moments and share them with you. Finally, I want to say that it is okay if you sometimes feel down, angry or upset. Just remember that there are also plenty of reasons to smile.